Most clinicians, at the core of it all, have a deep-rooted desire to help as many of their clients as they can. They hope that the time they spend with clients is actually helping the clients as much as possible. But they have no quantifiable way to know if clients are actually improving. Therapists report a high level of confidence in their personal effectiveness, confidence that increases with experience. According to one recent study, the average therapist estimates that they are more effective than 80% of their peers, while none believed that they are below average. Further, when compared to the published literature, clinicians tended to overestimate their rates of client improvement and underestimate their rates of client deterioration. In fact, with clinical judgment alone, mental health providers only detect deterioration for 19% of their clients who experience worsening symptoms. In other words, we think we're great, we think our clients are all getting better, and when they aren't, four out of five times we won't know it. It's tempting to assume that you are simply getting better with each case until you're an old expert therapist. Unfortunately, research has shown that effectiveness as a therapist plateaus and may even slowly diminish after just 50 hours of direct service. As a result, there is little or no difference between the effect sizes of a student and professionals. This means we are missing an essential piece of being able to do the thing we care most about, growing in our ability to help people. We know that psychotherapy does work, but does it work better consistently for some clinicians than others? The research shows that yes, the best therapists consistently have 50% better client outcomes and 50% less dropouts than the average therapist. Furthermore, we find that the therapist accounts for five to nine times a greater influence on client outcomes than treatment approach. We also know that client outcomes on average have not improved in the last four decades. Yet over the last two decades, we've seen one subset of data where the outcomes have improved. Routine measurement of client's progress and feedback to the therapist results in better treatment outcomes. This is one of the strongest findings that has emerged since the start of the 21st century. Even with all of this data, many clinicians are simply behind the times, or are turned off by the thought of formally gathering and tracking client feedback. Some clinicians are afraid of what they might find. They may worry that measuring outcomes will result in an increased pressure to perform. Some clinicians tell themselves that their outcomes must already be good because they are using a certain type of therapy. They may believe that their methods are above scrutiny. This may be because they were taught by a leader or mentor they trusted. But what does the data say? Adherence to a treatment protocol is not related to outcome. That is, therapists who adhere to what is expected in treatment do not get better outcomes than therapists who deviate from the manual. Actually, it appears that therapists who, regardless of how the client responds, stick to the treatment, have poorer outcomes. 10 years of data collection and analysis within the ACORN collaboration reveals that therapists who actively use the toolkit to monitor their client outcomes are likely to improve their results over the first two years, while therapists who do not monitor their results tend to show no improvement. This is huge. It means that for the first time in decades, we actually have a formula that we know consistently improves client care, and it makes you a better therapist. It helps us break out of the stagnation our industry has been in for decades. And it's so simple. All you're doing is collecting the client's perspective and then using the client's perspective to inform your decision making. Routine measurement and feedback to the therapist is demonstrably better for your clients. But perhaps that alone isn't sufficient motivation for everyone. Insurance companies and health plans are increasingly recognizing the value of good outcomes. An effective therapist saves them money, after all. Organizations who are seeking to improve their appeal can bet that demonstrating their value with actual data is going to stand out to those who purchase their services. Now is the time to make a change. Clinicians who don't seize on the opportunity to push the boundaries forward will continue to find themselves stagnant for the next several decades, while their peers learn from their mistakes and improve. Outcomes-informed care is the way forward for the benefit of our clients and our entire industry.